matching principle of accounting. Now this is by far one of the most important concept or a principle of accounting. Matching. We all understand the meaning of matching. Matching basically you've done match the following. Okay, so you had A, you had various options against A where you used to match them with each other. Right? So let's say if you had E and F also, so you match each other. Right? What does this mean? The simple match the following which you have been doing in your earlier classes meant correlating two aspects one which is given and the other one which is a variable similarly you correlate e with some other variable b you correlate f with some other variable c just like this concept of correlating things of matching things which you used to do in match the following there is a concept in accounting or accountancy wherein you have to match income okay or expense with the relevant expenses or income both of which are incurred in respect of first variable now what does this mean so let's say I have an income okay let's say the quantum is 100 to earn this income I have incurred expenses worth rupees 80 now these expenses may have been only accrued or they may have been paid both these criteria are immaterial as long as these expenses have been incurred to earn an income okay whenever we recognize this income in our books of accounts we have to recognize the corresponding expenses okay similarly is the concept of an expense right so if you incur any expense in the current year okay but it relates to a revenue or income we are using the terms revenue and income interchangeably but reference to one may be referred to as reference to the other in the context in which these have been used so the expenses if these are incurred in relation to revenue which will be earned in next year okay have to be deferred so let's say I incur an expense for financial year ending 31-3-2012. But I know that the revenue in respect of this expense is going to come, this income is going to come in the year 31-3-2013. Then when I prepare my profit and loss account, I am not going to book this expense. Why? Because the corresponding income is also supposed to come in the next year. Okay. So let's say for example, if you have paid insurance premium in advance normally the way it happens for insurance premium is that insurance premium is paid for a period of 12 months okay so let's say someone paid insurance premium on 39 2011 and the validity of this is 39 2012 as you prepare your balance sheet for 31st March 2012 and let's say the total amount was 10,000 when you are preparing your balance sheet for 31st March 2012 only 50% of this expense why 50% because the time lapsed since 39 2011 until 31 3 2012 is six months so you paid 10,000 for 12 months so effectively for six months you've paid 5,000 right so what do we do in such case in such case we reduce the expense actually incurred in a particular financial year from the total expense to get 5000 and this is taken over and booked in the next financial year which is 313 2013 
So we don't book it in 2012, we book it in 2013. Okay? Similarly, the third case could be in respect of, let's say for example, you get some advance income. Okay? So someone comes to you on 31-3-2012 and says, hey, can you provide me this particular service? Okay, I'm paying you 10,000. Provide me this service for the year ended 31-3-2013. Now in such a case, what happens is basically the income has to be recognized, okay, in the year in which the service is to be provided. But you receive the money in advance, right? So the matching principle says, because you are going to earn the income in 31-3-2013, because you are going to incur the expenses pertaining to this income in 31-3-2013, so in 2012, you don't show this as an income. You show this as a liability, and how the entries and everything work, that is where, what we are going to see in subsequent videos. But that's the way you recognize it. So the matching principle for accounting has three important points. Whenever we recognize income, all the related expenses are booked in the same profit and loss account. If you get an expense which is to be used or incurred against or in respect of services or income to be provided in the subsequent financial year, you don't recognize this expense, you defer it. And finally, if you get advance income, okay, you don't book it as an income, you just show it as a liability.